dabbled in a lot of different areas of art and jewelry just kind of stuck with me. I kind of always gravitated towards it just because you can do so much different things with it. Um, I've gotten into leather work recently and that has expanded so many things for me. I can paint on leather and which I my real true uh, favorite thing to do with art is to draw and so being able to incorporate that into jewelry is really awesome. And I like wearable art. I think that's a really cool idea. I tend to just draw a lot of shapes. A lot of different shapes. I'll draw a triangle and go from there and just freestyle. And honestly, like I'll sit on the phone and draw. That's where I draw most of my drawings is when I'm on a phone conversation or something like that. But um, yeah, it tends to lean towards more shapes and geometrical figures and stuff. Um, I also do some portraits, but I don't really do that too often. They tend to be black and white, just because I do it with a Sharpie on the phone, like I said. Um, but I've been adding color to it. I've started working with watercolor, acrylic usually. Um, I used to be into street art and graffiti a lot, and so I would do a lot of lettering, and so I get a lot of the sharp edges and colors from that, basically. In high school, that's all I focused on was street art and graffiti, so... I mean, you can't really tell so much of my jewelry, but I mean, I'm sure as I progress and stuff and start painting more on it, you'll see a lot of that coming out. Well, I'm not from Oklahoma, so I've only lived here two years, um, but from what I've seen in those two years, it has really progressed. Um, I remember coming here and thinking, wow, this, this city really could use a good art community. First Fridays are what I'm used to and you know, all that stuff. And I mean, that maybe did go on, but I just didn't know of it because it wasn't really well known. I mean, I think now though, that I'm participating in it and stuff, um, it's, it's gone a long way and I think it's only going further. It's awesome how many galleries are opening up and just opportunities for artists to show their stuff. Like raw, it's really cool. So you can find my work on Facebook, facebook.com slash spiral drift. You can see a lot of um, the process of making stuff and behind the scenes stuff. And I'm also on uh, Etsy. I have an Etsy shop, spiral drift, so you can find my stuff there.